But in all seriousness, I know how important it is to you to come back to Kansas City. You were actually in Germany this morning. Tell us about where you were and what you were doing. Well, yeah, but yeah, I just I went on. I spent a week uh, over visiting the troops on a USO tour this past week, and we went to. Uh, so, it, uh, Truly, truly was a life-changing experience. I'm sure there's some folks here that have some connections to the military, but just came away with just an un unbelievable appreciation for our troops and what they're doing to protect us. And we were in um, um, North Africa, Afghanistan, and then you know flew back into Germany to the military base there, then flew back to D.C. today. And uh, just unbelievable what our troops are going through and, and, and what they're doing to protect our country. So, but... Um, that this, this banquet is, is the premier banquet uh, in the NFL. Uh, you folks here in Kansas City do it right. The committee of one-on-one -on -one is just top-notch. And I, it's been an honor to win this award seven times. And I've, I've spent here with um, all, all, of the other, all of the other honorees, you know, uh, in the NFC and the coaches, the ASC, and, you know, Lynn Dawson, uh, I get to see here every year. Uh, I've had my dad introduce me, Tony Dungy, Tom Moore, my brother Cooper, if you recall, came here and did a little stand-up comedy during his routine, and to have Coach Cutcliffe here. This has truly been a, been a huge part of my NFL career, and so uh, any time I win, I'm, I'm running out of eligibility, I understand that. Uh, I promise y'all, I'll always be back, so thank y'all for having me. When we come back, hear from legendary head coach Don Shula, architect of the Miami Dolphins' perfect season. Stay with us as Kansas City's 43rd Annual 101 Awards continue.